Pompey. Michelson slings it out the center. Oh, and what a hit on Bristed. Leon Bristed destroyed in the neutral zone. And here come the reinforcements in maroon and gold. Everybody's on it now. Shea diving over the top. Everybody locked up. Bristed, who is the victim of that, exchanging it with Matt Poppy. And Bristed gets a little help down there from Letary. Everybody else piled up. The goaltender, Rumpel, locked up with Shea. Rumpel got into it. Wilcox has skated up to the top of the faceoff circles in his own zone. Not getting into it yet, but ready to go if need be. Here's what happened. Oh. Eddie Whitco just tries to decapitate Leon Bristed. Lucky Leon's able to get up, but good on Mike Riley. Yes. Obviously one of the best players in all of college hockey. First one to challenge this player right here as he gives him the business right there. And that's something that's going to help Mike Riley because without question, Mike Riley is going to earn a paycheck in the NHL one day. That action right there is something that will earn you mega respect amongst your peers. Hate seeing players take runs at others' heads, and that's exactly what Eddie Whitco did. And as a former player, being in this side of the, in this business and watching games just boils my blood, regardless of which yeah. team does it, because I understand the repercussions later in life that go along with those hits. And it's something that both leagues, the college, the NHL leagues, have all been trying to eliminate. But yet, time and time again, we see these events occur back in. I would anxiously await the discipline that will come out of this one. Mark Parrish.